Also right now, a Cincinnati man biking across the country to raise money for Children's Hospital. Six years ago, Nate Krugman was diagnosed with testicular cancer, and today he's free of the disease and on a mission to help others. When I was getting done with cancer treatment, my girlfriend, who's now my wife, Sarah, we were sitting at the <laughs> dinner table and we were writing off some some bills from treatment. And I looked at her and I promised her that I would one day go back to help people who are in a similar spot. Nate Krugman talked with us on the phone today. That's because he's in the middle of the ride of his life. He's biking from San Diego to St. Augustine, Florida to raise money to help families at Cincinnati's Children's Hospital. A little over six years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. And going through that journey, I wanted to, to help people. I developed a soft spot. Uh, for people who are suffering from cancer. Joined by his mother-in-law and uncle following in an RV, Nate bikes about 100 miles a day. Today, he's crossing the Louisiana border into Mississippi, making stops all along the way. It's amazing. The people we've met, uh, there's probably well over a dozen that just made a lasting impression. And these people are helping him raise money. So far, Nate's about halfway to his $50,000 goal. I told him that I partnered with Children's Hospital in Cincinnati and that there's a fund that helps people with financial gaps. That $50,000 will go right to funding research here in his hometown. Nate's message is simple but powerful. Model courage for people and the model that, you know, courage isn't about removing fear, it's about walking through it because there is hope on the other side. And Nate works for the Cincinnati Zoo and is blogging every mile of his journey. He has just nine days left on his ride. And if you want to donate, you can do so by visiting courageforcancer.org or our website, wcpo.com. We'll post a link if you want to donate. Well, two terror